make it for sure. It's curling the cue ball. Oh, oh, is he? oh, maybe he is. Yeah, he did and made the, the ball. Look at the spin with those multiple dots on the cue ball. You can really see games, but you got to play them one at a time right now. Just like Efren did all that. Jimmy is capable of that too. Just needs the chance. But how are you going to beat stuff like that? He's doing every every part of the pool game perfectly. He hit the paint. Kamusta mga kaibigan? Isang dominanteng laban ng The Magician ang masasaksihan natin ngayon. Ito ang 2004 Derby Classic 9 Ball Tournament na ginanap sa Louisville, Kentucky sa Estados Unidos. Ang match ay race to 7 at ang kalaban dito ng The Magician ay si Jimmy Welch ng United Kingdom. Tignan natin ang naging laban mga kaibigan at kung paano tinuruan ng leksyon ni Efren Bata Reyes ang Briton na player na para bang naging teacher at estudyante ang laban. In pace, in terms of quality of the play, the last match that we witnessed was both players put up 900 plus AccuStat figures. Last night, Efren Reyes got out of the match in four innings. Yeah, Reyes is uh, really, really hot. I mean, he, uh, he was struggling during the... Sa unang rock ay nahulog ni Efren ang uno at kwatro. worked himself into super gear. May tira naman sa dos, kaso walang posisyon para sa tres. Tingnan natin ang gagawin ng The Magician. No, he couldn't, so he decided to play safe. Not bad, you see, a man had a shot. I mean, Nag-play safe si Efren dito, pero may tira si Welch sa dos. Intelligence uh, as a poop. Everett came to the tournament playing with a new cue, a Judd Philippine cue, which is now set for his first opportunity at the table playing with a shown cue. He's going to try to do what Efren didn't do, put him on the... Oh, he kicked at it. I thought he could hit the edge. <coughs> but he was trying to do a kick safe. Kick shot ni Welch. Abangan natin ang tira ni Efren dito. He's still looking at it. I mean, from here it looks like it goes easily, but... From down there, a few ball on the seven, defensively. You know, he'll do that if it doesn't go, but he looks like he's uh, playing position for it to go. He didn't want to... Ginamit niya ang eight ball para mahulog ang tres. At positional play pa. That's a great shot because now he has space to go from the six to the seven. Great all-around shot. A subtly great shot. He's playing a billiard. He's playing it well too. Combination shot para sa 7. Unang rack pa lang ay eh, mainit na ang The Magician. Well, you got to control more than just uh, the cue ball. Nice cut into the side. At open table dito para kay Efren. Now lay out here with very manageable position and I look for Efren to take an early lead in this match. Yeah, it doesn't look like anything's going to stop him. I mean, you know, he get he makes tricky layout right now. Ginanap ang larong ito. December 4, 2004 sa Kentucky, USA. At sa panahong ito ay 49 years old si Efren Bata. Anyway, uh, Efren, uh, like Lassiter, Luther Lassiter of the past, you probably heard of him, uh, he would play so-so during the beginning of the tournament, but when it got near the finals, he got flawless. And that's what, uh, Nakuha ni Efren ang unang rack. He's played a few matches in the one packet he could have lost, the nine ball he could have lost, you know, the uh, Canadian... Uh, uh, well, he's in good form. He's been playing every day and for a lot of hours each day. And this is the ninth day, so he's definitely found his speed on the tables and his smoothness with his stroke delivery. You could tell by that safety he made. He was able to hook Jimmy White or Jimmy Wedge so that he had to kick at the two ball. Sa second rack ay nahulog ulit niya ang uno at kwatro sa break. Uh, we'd have to say want to watch Efren. So uh, he sells videos. Uh, the people want to see him. Uh, and plus, it's like semifinals and final matches. I don't know if he hit this hard enough. He's not going to fall on the three. Nakuha niya ang dos kaso kinulang sa lakas para sa posisyon sa tres. Tignan natin ang gagawin ni Efren. It's an aspect of the game that he excels at. He might be kicking this. I think he's curling the cue ball around. Oh, is he? Oh, maybe he is. Yeah, he did and made the, the ball. Look at the spin with those multiple dots on the cue ball. You can really see. Masay shot ang ginawa ni Efren. Make the ball. Position is there. 
And I noticed with this stance, look at he's adjusted his cue. Pocketed the ball. He's adjusted his stance some since the last time I've seen him play a couple of years ago. Well, I'll tell you what. I've been watching him now for uh, 18 years and uh, maybe even more. It might, be, it might be more than that. First time I saw him was in 84. It's 2004 already. Oh, my God. Where did the time go, Mark? Oh, well. that, or is that your opinion? Ang masisyat pala mga kaibigan ay ang pagkurba ng cue ball sa harap ng nakaharang na object ball. Ibang klase talaga. That's what I wanted to hear. Not just uh, an opinion, it's a fact. You know, that's how he feels. And that's great to know. And that's why he's going to endure and play great forever. Well, he's breaking and running out this rack. And that terrific mass A shot set up the whole rack yeah. for him. Perfect rack para sa The Magician. Off last night when he uh, ran four of the seven racks from the break. He's a machine right now. He's going to be very tough to beat. Just look, look at Jimmy. He kicked one time, but I, I don't call that coming to the table. I'm called like a, a chance to win the game. You still have a lot of fire. Well, he a lot of life. Worry, he can't worry about the score. He needs to be no. mentally preparing for his opportunity. When and if <laughs> Nahulog ang uno sa third rack. At open day ball para kay Efren. Five to the six. We got a road map here. Only except for the eight to the nine. Everything else leads to one another. Well, once again, a very common nine ball layout that. You know. Mukang wala ng balak patayo in Efren ng kalaban niya dito. Efren has one weakness: his break. Here, I mean, he's stopping the cue ball. He's running out. He's making a ball on the break. You know, there's nothing wrong with his break. Well, every other aspect of his game is so excellent that his break is uh, perhaps no quality. Sa tournament na ito pala ay kasali din si Alex Pagulayan. Kaso nga lang eh, nalaglag siya ng 14th place out of 17 players. I think the players want it to be that way. They're hoping his break is weak because everything else is obvious. How loose his grip hand is, I mean... It, it resembles a, a wet dish rag hanging under the cue when he goes through the cue ball. There's no tension whatsoever. This that was a lane. pretty good hit. The loose grip enables him to generate spin, maximum spin at minimum speed. At nagpositional play si Efren para sa 9, na nag-uwi sa score na 3-0. In ways that the other top players struggle or don't even attempt. Oh, that's three. Okay. Okay, when we get a moment, maybe we can pop up... Uh, Efren's bio here. And after that, it'd be nice to see the scouting report. Efren Reyes, age 49, hometown, Angeles City, Philippines. His home pool room is Angeles City Billiards. Plays with a Philippine Judd Q, sponsored by Puyat Sport. Titles, well, he's won everything there is to win. His pool influences were Jose Parica and Ramon Hernandez. And his training method is lots of rotation. Explain it in one of the other tapes. Rotations with 15 balls. And you have a lot more obstruction, so you have to have a little better cue ball control to wiggle around. Sa rock for ay hulog na naman ng uno, pati na rin ang 5. So far, perfect ang break ni Efren sa match na ito, mga kaibigan. Tingnan natin kung mauubos ni Efren ng open table sa rock 4. Isn't having any fun. <laughs> look, look at the good part, though. He he won't have a chance to dog it. And Reyes is really a nice rhythm. This match seven nothing doesn't get to the table again. He doesn't lose any of his backers. Oh, I you don't know. know that he's concerned about losing his backers at this point. Hey, what's this? Oh my God, he did a little body English and he knocked. English shot sa cuatro para sa position para sa seis. Napasipa pa si Efren, muntik na ma-scratch. Tignan natin ang gagawin niya sa saiz. Whether the point of the side pocket might have an influence on whether he can hit the edge of the cue ball or edge of the six ball. I think he can and he's really lucky that he didn't uh, make the cue ball. I'm going to tell you that was terrific speed that he used. That he maximized his possibility of rolling that ball into the pocket. At ayun nga, mukhang mauubos na naman ni Efren ang rack na ito. Now he's back in line. Yeah, yeah watch. What's going to happen? I want a shot. I want a shot. And it appears he failed to shave this morning. 
camera work, our crack crew. <laughs> All right, let's see the scouting report when we get a chance. Nine ball in, four zero na ang score. Makakatira pa kaya si Welch dito, mga idol? We give the edge to Welch in the breaking department, which he, we've yet to see as far as shot making, defense, kicking, position play, focus, creativity. All go to Efren. Will the win? We gave it to Welch. The sum total of which is that Efren Reyes, the reigning uh, best player in the world. Those kind of tournaments with top players in the world unless you have a strong will to win. And again, they underrated his break too. Look at this. See you later again here. <laughs> One on the side. Well, it depends this. on where the two ball yeah. goes. Yeah. Fifth break ng the magician ay nahulog na naman ng uno sa side pocket. Wedge zero. Huwag naman sana makatulog si Welch sa bangko niya. The last perfect match I saw was at Resorts International. Well, if anyone Wait. else has ever shot a thousand tournament play. And maybe not. <laughs> the place is going to go wild if he runs seven and out here. A couple times and seven a couple times. You never... Tignan natin kung mauubos ulit ni Efren ang rack na ito. Combination shot sa tres at chete. He really didn't want to hit that. He wanted to spin under it. He's grinning a little where it would be real bad to get. Let me see what he's going to do. I like the three railer, but he doesn't apparently. Rail I guess first. he does. Rail first. Yeah, he Side did hit rail big. first, but you see... Yeah, he's in the hole. No, he isn't. Wow. Kick shot sa 4 at muntik na naman siya ma scratch. May kasamang buenas talaga to si Efren, mga idol. Went a little longer and he would have been straight in and he wouldn't have had to do this. And he's slinking around here. See, he wouldn't have had to do that if he was... Tingnan natin kung mauubos ni Efren ang rack 5. Any newly, game. Well, he's the newly elected inductee into the Hall of Fame, so yeah, he makes some good decisions along the way. Oh, the ball one rail, I believe. Oh, two rails. Look Power at that draw. stroke. Beautiful shot. At ayun ang ganda ng tira sa ocho. Two rail shot. Perfect position para sa nuebe. Efren's going to lead five games to zero. Good night na ata para kay Welch. So far, Wetch has had very little input into the match. Well, you can... 5-0 ng score. At ayun nga, mukhang nalugi na si Welch dito, mga idol. Greatest player in the world, most people's eyes. Uh... Matches like this. Playing the pink four ball in the corner and the one ball on the side. Four ball went right in. The one, one ball. Rail. Okay, the where's the two? Well, uh oh, it stopped funny. It stopped on the 50 yard. Nahulog na naman ng uno sa break ni Efren. Pero this time, sa corner pocket naman. Mahirap din ang posisyon niya para sa dos. Tingnan natin ang gagawin ni Efren. He's got to roll forward with a lot of reverse. And that's what he did and he caught what the point. What a shot. What a shot. Ang ganda ng tira mga idol. Great Q control. Siya nga talaga ang the magician. I see many of the other top players employ. I can't think of any. Yeah, I saw it coming. Maubos niya kaya ulit ang rack na ito? Tingnan natin. Yeah, to the pocket. Ang gandang positional shot nun para sa 6, mga kaibigan. Uubusin na naman niya ang rack na ito. Jimmy Wetch might not want to shoot anymore. He's pulling from the run 7 and out, I believe. Humor. I don't think he's even suffering. I think he's kind of amused that uh, it's pain the quality of the play. Yeah, someone put on a show like this, you have to admire it. Well, he fell a little short, but I don't think he's going to have problems. He could reach it. Efren really needs to bear down here and go ahead and complete this run for a perfect match. At ayun nga, 6-0 na. Diretso na tayo sa rack number 7. Which with only one kick shot opportunity throughout the match. Shot that he uh, killed the cue ball and hit the point of the uh, rubber, and that's how he got position. Uh, are we coming to an end here? He has failed to pocket a ball on the break. A... Walang hulug si Efren for the first time. Tira na ni Welch. Kaso, ang hirap ng posisyon niya para sa uno. 
Tingnan natin ang gagawin ng kakatayo lang na si Welch. When he was a kid, said Mr. Crane, can I hit him with you? And Mike broke. Crane ran 200 and played safe. <laughs> oh boy. Quick Irving Crane, Mike Siegel story. A great shot, but however, that's not going to get you six games. Ang gandang tira nun, mga idol. Safety play para sa uno. Ano kaya gagawin ni Efren dito? Mahirap na tira to eh. Jimmy is capable of that too. Just needs the chance. But how are you going to beat stuff like that? He's doing every every part of the pool game perfectly. Parang mathematic genius. Manipis na tira at ginamit ng object ball na tres para bumalik ang cue ball sa pinagmulan niya. The magician nga talaga. Tignan natin ang gagawin ni Welch dito mga idol. Ayun nga, natamaan niya ang uno kaso walang safety play. Balik na naman siya sa upuan. Maubos kaya ulit ni Efren ng rack na ito? Tignan natin. And it could and a, be end of him. And a kick. He had a kick earlier in the match, a safety yeah. and a kick. Yeah. Two kicks and a safety Ooh, right tough. now. Efren playing with perfect rhythm. A lot of confidence. He's not jumping around with his stroke like he was earlier in the week when we were watching some of his matches. Remember when we kind oh, of no, flinch on he, some uh, of those strokes? He got, uh, listen, he... He overcut that ball a little bit and almost didn't get long enough, but he did. He he's been doing all the shooting. He's had Gising pa ba kayo mga idol? Kung gising pa kayo eh, paki-comment naman kung nai-enjoy niyo ang laro at babasahin natin 'yan sa comment section. And like I say, not against Mickey Mouse. He's been beating the top players in the world. Nine ball matches in the yeah. other event. Yeah, he was playing the nine ball tournament and uh the finals of the one packet one after another. And uh, I think this he just is... quietly came up with a terrific shot that was low with a little bit of inside spin, drifted around three rails, made it look so easy the audience didn't even recognize the difficulty of the shot. And this is a knowledgeable audience. I, I tell all the beginners out there, play both hands because look at this. This this stops you from stretching and using the bridge. And this is going to be a very painless watch. I mean, he didn't suffer. He never was in it. He never had a chance. He didn't dog it. Uh, he still got his backwards. And here's a thousand match. You're not going to see this very often. Perfect match. At ayun nga. Nakuha niya ang 7 track. 7-0 ang score sa race to 7. That was just a sheer pleasure to Di man lang naka-score ang Briton. At sa match na ito ay nag-uwi si Efren ng $9,000. At ito ang 2004 Derby Classic 9-ball tournament. Which has nothing to feel bad about. That was a trick match.